please welcome to our stage Matt Mills speaking about the ship of Theseus. little bit. There we go. Uh, okay, so my talk is The Ship of Theseus, How Do You Know You're Real? And by real, I mean, that's not working. There we go. I mean identity. Um, are you authentic? Is anything really identifi identifiably authentic? Or is it all fake? Now I'm going to tell a few stories to illustrate the shape of the problem. They're all different ideas of the same thing. I think you'll get it. Uh, so the first story is uh, Abe Lincoln's axe, or your grandfather's axe, or George Washington's axe. My favorite is your grandfather's axe, so I'm going to tell that one. Um, so on his deathbed, your grandfather gives you his favorite axe. That's the one here on the left. It's obviously the best one. Um, and he says, here, use this and remember me when you use it. And so you do. You're, you're a, a rustic person. You've got to chop wood and you know, take down trees and things. So you use it for a while, and the handle breaks, because obviously it's old. Um, so you replace the handle. And then you use it for a long time after that. The head wears down. Before you know it, it's cracked and no good anymore, so you replace the head. Now at this point, there's none of the original axe left. But when you use it, you still remember your grandfather and you have that same feeling like, oh, this is the axe he gave me, even though it really isn't that axe. Huh, it worked that time. Uh, this is the HMS Theseus. Uh, I couldn't find a picture of the original ship of Theseus. So this will have to stand in. It's our imposter slide. Um, so uh, the story goes that uh, Theseus was the founder of Athens. He united all the tribes around Attica into the city-state that we know from history. Uh, this is a mythological story. None of these things are true. Um, it's appropriate. Um, so before he did that, he ran around on a lot of adventures, as befits a Greek mythological hero. Um, and he did all this on a ship running around the Aegean Sea. And when he came back, the city fathers saw fit to preserve his ship uh, after his death. And so when the deck boards would rot, they would replace them. When the masts got old, they would replace them. When the sails started to tear, they went. Um, so eventually, none of the original ship was left, just like our axe. So here we have a more complex problem, because if Theseus were brought back to life, I mean, he's mythological, he could come back to life, um, he would say, oh, this is my ship. I recognize the deck. It's the same shape and area, and the sails are all in the right place, and I know which rope to pull to pull them up and down, and I'm not a sailor. So our last example, um, this is not a pretty watercolor. This is uh, a micrograph of bone. So the white parts are bone being grown in, and the red parts are, are bone being taken away. There are these uh, cells called osteoclasts and osteoblasts, which do this for you. Um, now, bones are an interesting material because they're 50% white mineral that you think of when you think of bone, and they're 50% cartilage. And this means that they flex a little bit. Um, and where they flex, uh, over time, uh, the, stressed, the more stressed parts get replaced. Uh, I don't know what you just said. Um, <laughs> eventually, all of your bones get replaced like this. Um, such that your whole skeleton goes away in about 10 years and you have a new one. So the bones, the bones that are in you tonight were not in you a decade ago. And the same goes for your skin, your skin, your uh, hair, everything except your teeth and the surface of your eyes. 
goes on, undergoes the same replacement process in about the same time. Uh, seven years for skin, a couple more for other parts. I couldn't find exact numbers for everything. Anyway, so you're the same as that ax at the beginning. So where does this leave us? The ax, we could say it's definitely a different ax, right? I mean, it didn't, doesn't even look the same. You buy a handle from the hardware store, it's not the same length. It's entirely different. Um, the ship, it's a little weirder because it definitely looks like the same ship. It definitely sounds like the same ship, but it's not the same ship. No one's shouting ship. That's, um, so, and, and of course, all of you definitely feel like yourselves, right? No. <laughs> thanks, thanks. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, so all, all of this leads up to this guy. This is uh, Herman Minkowski. He was a physicist in the early part of the 20th century. He was one of the first people to read and understand uh, Einstein's paper on special relativity um, in 1905. 1905. Yes, this is actual science. Um, so he had previously done work on Lorentz geometry and Maxwell's equations to give you an idea of like where he was. If you've heard of those things, congratulations. Um, so when he saw Einstein's paper, which was mostly about frames of reference, he realized that you could rework it in four dimensions and it gave you this whole new worldview. Uh, and there's a lot of complicated math, which I won't go into. I read a bunch of it. Didn't make any sense. Um, but the upshot is he came up with this concept called world lines. And a world line is the path of an object through four dimensional space uh, between each event that happens to it. And when I say an event, I mean like a board getting replaced on a ship or some cells growing back. Um, so this gives us uh, a nice neat definition of authenticity. An authentic object is something that shares a world line with the original. So yes, Theseus' ship was still his ship. Um, so with that, I'd like to raise a glass to abstruse problems and oddball solutions. <laughs>